we've got this giant shark vertebra. Deep within the frozen wilderness of Antarctica, where icy winds howl and snow-covered landscapes stretch as far as the eye can see, a silent vault of time has emerged, bearing holds that have remained frozen for centuries. From astonishing frozen civilizations to the enigmatic Antarctic Pyramid, each discovery offers us a tantalizing glimpse into the forgotten chapters of our past. Join us as we embark on a heart-pounding journey through the icy corridors of history and unveil the astonishing truth behind 20 of the most mind-boggling artifacts that have been found frozen in ice in Antarctica. Number 20. Frozen Civilization Found Under the Ice of Antarctica In 1946, Admiral Richard Byrd led an important mission to Antarctica called Operation High Jump. He gathered a big group of people and equipment for this four-month expedition. The goal was to achieve military objectives and find places for military bases. However, something unexpected happened during the mission. According to his secret diary, he discovered something incredible. He heard rumors of a passage to the Earth's core through the South Pole. He flew his plane there and saw amazing things. The cold, icy land turned into a warm, green place. He even saw a city made of crystal that shone with different colors. While flying, his plane was controlled by a strange force, and he saw flying objects shaped like disks. They guided him to the ground, where he met a being called the Master. The Master was disappointed in how humans used nuclear weapons and caused destruction. The beings living inside the Earth were worried about our planet's future. This story is important to people who study UFOs because it connects with other sightings and events involving UFOs and nuclear weapons. If Bird's diary is real, it suggests that advanced beings live inside the Earth and watch what happens on the surface. After this incredible encounter, he wanted to tell people, but he was ordered to keep it a secret. His accounts were classified and confidential. This story makes us think about the connection between ancient stories of beings inside the Earth and the modern UFO phenomenon. Some people believe that we may soon meet these mysterious inner Earth beings. Number 19. 71 Million Year Old Fossils the notion of embarking on an arduous journey to Antarctica to partake in a freezing cold expedition does not appear enjoyable. Surprisingly, however, numerous individuals are captivated by this endeavor to such an extent that they persist in undertaking it until remarkable discoveries are made. In 2016, a team of international scientists embarked on an Antarctic expedition and stumbled upon an abundance of fossils and dinosaur remains concealed within the snow. These remarkable findings are estimated to be approximately 71 million years old, with some dating back to the final stages of the dinosaur era. Of particular intrigue, the fossils unearthed predominantly belong to marine creatures, including early ducks from the late Cretaceous period. It is truly an impressive discovery, considering the daunting expanse of snow and ice that encompasses the region. Undoubtedly, reaching the expedition site posed significant challenges, making the team's success all the more rewarding. One can only imagine the disappointment they would have faced had they encountered nothing more than a collection of discarded soiled diapers. Thankfully, their diligent efforts yielded substantial findings that have enriched the realm of scientific knowledge. Kudos to the scientific community for this commendable achievement. Number 18. Ancient Rainforest it is conceivable that one might assume we have already identified all of the rainforests present on Earth, considering our prolonged existence on this planet. However, it is worth noting that human knowledge is far from comprehensive. In February 2017, a group of scientists obtained sediment core samples from the ocean floor in the Amundsen Sea, situated off the coast of West Antarctica. This endeavor yielded an unexpected revelation. The discovery of fossil remnants from a once vibrant, marshy, temperate rainforest that flourished approximately 90 million years ago in Antarctica. The collected sample contained a profusion of fossilized plant pollen and spores originating from ancient forest soil. Additionally, detailed CT scans unveiled an intricate network of fossilized plant roots embedded within the soil. This discovery is amazing because the rainforest was found about 560 miles from the South Pole. This was a time when the climate was surprisingly mild, with an average temperature of about 54 degrees Fahrenheit 
or 12 degrees Celsius each year. Scientists think that the good conditions in Antarctica 50 million years ago were because of a lot of carbon dioxide in the air and no big ice sheet covering the continent. This evidence shows that plants can grow in Antarctica, even though some people say they can't. It proves that it's possible. People who believe plants can't grow in Antarctica might change their minds. They might say it's not possible anymore. But with climate change happening now, the conditions for plants to grow there could come back again. Number 17. Lake Vostok. Understanding the harshness of life in colder regions requires no specialized knowledge of temperature dynamics. Upon reflection, one realizes the extreme difficulties that accompany existence in such areas. Contrary to popular perception, these regions are not solely characterized by snow and ice, they also harbor lakes. However, these lakes remain concealed beneath the vast layers of snow and ice. One notable example is Lake Vostok, situated at the southern pole of Antarctica beneath Russia's Vostok Station. This lake is the largest among nearly 400 known subglacial lakes in Antarctica. Comparable to Lake Vostok, these lakes lie beneath the central East Antarctic Ice Sheet, approximately 11,444 feet above mean sea level. Consequently, Lake Vostok rests at a remarkable depth of 1,600 feet below sea level and a staggering 13,100 feet beneath the encompassing ice sheet. Thus, it stands as one of the lowest altitude lakes globally, making it inherently one of the coldest. Consequently, it is strongly advised against engaging in activities such as swimming in Lake Vostok. This serves as a reminder to prioritize the preservation of one's health and well-being. In our experience, the most effective approach to achieving this is simply to avoid ice-cold lakes buried under several feet of ice. By adhering to this advice, one can ensure the resolution of any potential problems. Number 16. McMurdo Dry Valleys We have previously discussed the intriguing and unexpected characteristics of Antarctica. However, is it conceivable that certain areas of the continent have absolutely no snow? According to conventional wisdom, this seems highly unlikely. Nevertheless, we are about to acquaint you with a remarkably arid region within Antarctica known as the McMurdo Dry Valleys. Situated in the Victoria Land region, these valleys are predominantly devoid of snow. Remarkably, rainfall has not been observed in the dry valleys for nearly two million years. Additionally, the already minimal humidity is further reduced by the presence of surrounding mountains, which impede the movement of ice from nearby glaciers. Covering an approximate area of 1,500 square miles, this region represents one of the most extreme deserts on Earth. The only life forms known to inhabit this area are endolithic bacteria, which find refuge within the relatively moist interiors of rocks, shielded from the dry air. This unique ecosystem provides compelling evidence that Antarctica surpasses our preconceived notions. Despite being an icy and frigid part of the world, it also harbors one of the harshest and driest deserts. Few could have anticipated this surprising revelation, except for those who have had the opportunity to read the script, like myself. However, for those of you who were unaware, this information likely came as an unexpected revelation. Une Number 15. Ice Fish Colony Antarctica is often regarded as one of the most harsh and unforgiving climates on Earth. While this perception holds true, it does not imply the absence of animal life in the region. In 2022, a group of researchers made a significant discovery in Antarctica's southern Wood del Sea, a breeding colony of notothenioid ice fish. This colony surpassed any previously recorded ice fish colonies in terms of size, covering a vast area. The researchers estimated the presence of over 60 million active nests, weighing approximately 135 million pounds in total biomass. The ice fish nests were found during a survey of the Flickner Ice Shelf, conducted by towing a large device behind the RV Polar Stern at speeds ranging from 0.6 to 2.4 miles per hour. This device captured videos and acoustic bathymetry data, providing the researchers with comprehensive information. These findings highlight the existence of life even in the most inhospitable and challenging environments on our planet. However, conducting such research requires sophisticated and costly equipment to obtain acoustic bathymetry data, which plays a crucial role in understanding these animals. 
Such equipment cannot be easily acquired from retail stores like Radio Shack. Number 14. Antarctica UFO We often discuss the remarkable capabilities of Google Earth, a simple yet powerful tool that enables us to explore vast portions of the world from a perspective that would be perilous if attempted in reality. Recently, an intriguing discovery was made on Google Earth, which has startled the global community. Certain UFO enthusiasts claim to have identified a crashed, unidentified flying object through images captured over Antarctica by Google Earth. According to these alien hunters, the unidentified object appears to be the wreckage of an extraterrestrial spacecraft that met with an unfortunate accident on the icy continent. This alleged sighting occurred on a remote South Georgia island, inhabited by a population of fewer than 40 individuals. The captivating video of the purported crash site swiftly gained international attention, drawing the interest of online UFO enthusiasts. Diligently examining the footage, many viewers began sharing their own theories. While some firmly believed that the image represented a genuine crashed UFO, others countered this notion, asserting that it was merely a rock carried by the glacier. Ultimately, the interpretation of this discovery rests on individual beliefs and inclinations. Those inclined to embrace the existence of extraterrestrial life may find it worthwhile to scrutinize the mysterious rock on South Georgia Island. Alternatively, those who prioritize scientific understanding may opt to explore other avenues of knowledge, such as delving into relevant literature. To them, the object in question is simply a rock, devoid of extraterrestrial significance. Number 13. Life Under Ice As humans, we often ponder the remarkable ability of living organisms to thrive in extraordinarily challenging environments. For example, one might question the possibility of any creature surviving in sub-zero temperatures while being buried beneath several feet of ice. However, recent scientific research, published in December 2021, has shed light on the unexpectedly abundant marine life beneath Antarctic ice shelves. Although it has long been recognized that certain life forms flourish in the perpetually dark, cold, and still habitats of ice shelves, researchers have seldom collected specimens from these remote locations until now. In 2018, scientists undertook a groundbreaking expedition near the New Mayer Station 3 in the southeastern Weddell Sea, drilling two holes through nearly 0.1 mile of the extreme ice shelf using hot water. Despite the harsh conditions, with temperatures reaching approximately minus 2.2 degrees Celsius or 35.9 degrees Fahrenheit, the mission achieved success. The subsequent analysis of the gathered specimens revealed a remarkable diversity of marine life within the seabed, even several miles inland. This discovery unequivocally demonstrates that animals can indeed endure and thrive in extremely cold environments. The exact mechanisms and motivations behind the presence of these creatures remain largely unknown. It challenges our preconceived notions and emphasizes that human assumptions about the natural world are often flawed. Number 12. Rectangular Iceberg in cartoons, icebergs are commonly depicted with a distinct and uniform shape. Surprisingly, this portrayal aligns with reality in some cases. NASA scientist Jeremy Harbach, who has conducted aerial surveys for decades, fortuitously encountered an iceberg in Antarctica that closely resembles a man-made structure. This iceberg featured square sides and a flat top, resembling a perfect rectangle rather than a natural formation. Rectangular icebergs, while uncommon, are indeed a natural occurrence. Ice crystals tend to fracture along straight lines, resulting in such distinct shapes. However, it is important to note that irregularly shaped icebergs, as often depicted in cartoons, predominate in regions of the northern hemisphere due to the friction between the ice and the underlying bedrock. Fortunately, cartoons do not deceive us in this regard. While the majority of icebergs take on irregular forms, there are instances where nature manifests in intriguing and peculiar ways. It is comforting to know that our beloved cartoons remain faithful to these exceptions. Number 11. Gambertsev Mountain Range Contrary to common assumptions, Antarctica offers far more than a vast expanse of ice and snow. It boasts a noteworthy feature that often goes unnoticed, the Gambertsev Mountain Range. Also known as the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains, this mountainous group is situated in East Antarctica. 
It holds the distinction of being one of the most secluded regions on our planet. The range derives its name from Grigory A. Gambertsev, a geophysicist who led the third Soviet Antarctic expedition in 1958 and was responsible for its discovery. Geologists speculate that these mountains originated roughly a billion years ago during the formation of the supercontinent Rodinia when two land masses collided. Spanning approximately 750 miles, the Gambertsev mountain range reaches a height of around 8,900 feet, although this estimation remains uncertain due to being obscured by over 2,000 feet of ice and snow. The Gambertsev mountain range showcases remarkable natural beauty, yet surprisingly little is currently known about this captivating terrain. Even experts in the field heavily rely on conjecture and approximations to unravel its mysteries. Consequently, the diverse life forms that may inhabit these mountains remain largely unknown, fueling speculative theories ranging from extraterrestrial beings and mythical creatures like yetis to dragons. However, the truth may forever elude us. Number 10. Ancient Meteorites In films, the depiction of a massive celestial body approaching Earth often induces widespread panic and typically results in catastrophic consequences, potentially leading to the annihilation of humanity. Although this scenario is not entirely implausible, the reality of meteorites is somewhat less dramatic. Meteorites are fragments of space rocks that have fragmented from larger masses and descended to Earth. During their descent through the atmosphere, they may appear as fleeting streaks of light known as shooting stars. Surprisingly, an estimated number of up to 84,000 meteorites larger than a marble fall to Earth annually, yet the majority remain undiscovered due to various challenges in their detection. These objects can be concealed among vegetation, mixed with terrestrial rocks, submerged in deep bodies of water, or even situated in other obscure locations. Antarctica's empty space helps us find meteorites easily, like black on white. Scientists have been exploring Antarctica for many years to find these special rocks. By the time a meteorite reaches Antarctica, it has traveled millions of miles through space. Then, scientists carefully study and analyze it to learn about Earth's beginnings, and the possibility of life beyond our planet. They display the meteorites in museums or let other researchers study them. The real story of a meteorite is much more fascinating than what we see in movies. Hollywood sometimes makes them seem more exciting than they really are, but their true importance is incredible. Number nine, Mount Airbus. It is imperative that we recognize and address the grave and persistent threat of climate change, which demands our utmost concern. However, there is another matter that warrants our attention, yet seems to go unnoticed. The presence of an active volcano in Antarctica. The apparent lack of awareness regarding this issue is deeply troubling. Mount Erebus, the second highest active volcano in Antarctica after Mount Sidley, holds significant importance as the sixth highest ultra mountain on the continent and the southernmost active volcano on Earth. It has maintained its volcanic activity for over a million years and features a long-standing lava lake within its inner summit crater, which has persisted since the 1970s. With a staggering summit elevation of 12,448 feet, Mount Erebus occupies an area alongside other volcanoes, albeit inactive ones providing some relief from existential concerns. While it is true that Mount Erebus may not be the primary focus of our global concerns, it remains a noteworthy phenomenon that warrants our awareness. Considering the potential ramifications, even a single adverse event could trigger a catastrophic climate scenario in Antarctica. As the region is already grappling with environmental melt, the addition of volcanic activity would exacerbate the situation further. It is crucial to acknowledge and monitor this risk, as the combination of environmental and volcanic challenges is something we cannot afford to overlook. Number 8. Southern Ocean Currently, it appears that there is a need for a collective return to educational institutions. Recent revelations have indicated that the information we have been taught thus far may not have been entirely accurate. To elaborate, it has come to light that the long-held belief of there is only seven continents and four oceans is erroneous. A renowned institution, National Geographic, has officially acknowledged the presence of a fifth ocean named the Southern Ocean, encompassing Antarctica. Traditionally, there were four recognized oceanic regions, 
namely the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Arctic. However, the term Southern Ocean has been used by numerous scientists, sailors, and other experts over time to describe the oceanic expanse surrounding Antarctica. National Geographic, as an authority in the natural sciences, has now designated this body of water as an ocean. Consequently, these recent developments challenge our established understanding of geography. While addressing this matter, it is pertinent to note our personal stance on the subject. We would like to express that we are unequivocally opposed to the idea of returning to school to rectify this particular issue or any other matter that may have become outdated. Number 7. Antarctic Pyramid Conspiracy theories often emerge when an anomaly contradicts basic logic and common sense. In the case of the Antarctic Pyramid, which has gained significant attention online, various speculations about its origins have arisen. While some suggest that a lost civilization crafted the structure or that extraterrestrial beings played a role, scientists assert that the most plausible explanation is that it is a natural mountain formation. This explanation may seem mundane, as the pyramid-like features are a result of extensive erosion over millions of years. However, it is worth noting that peaks with pyramid-shaped appearances, albeit with only one or two faces resembling pyramids, do exist in nature but are rare. Consequently, one scientist provided a more detailed clarification to demonstrate that pyramid shapes, although infrequent, can occur naturally. Despite the scientific explanations dispelling the mystery, it is essential to recognize that personal beliefs and inclinations are not restrained by scientific findings. Ultimately, the choice to embrace alternative explanations, such as attributing the pyramid to extraterrestrial involvement, remains a personal prerogative, as science cannot restrict individual perspectives. Visual. Number 6. Ice Cubes The icy surface of Antarctica is not consistently smooth and pristine. In certain areas, it can resemble a landscape of immense ice cubes. This peculiar phenomenon raises questions about its occurrence and its significance in the broader context of human evolution. While we won't address the latter inquiry, we will address the former and provide a more accessible explanation. Although Antarctica's colossal ice masses may seem solid, they are in constant motion. This movement gives rise to discernible patterns that are not carved, but rather shaped gradually over extended periods due to the forces of pulling. Initially, the ice expands sideways as it floats, resulting in deep troughs along its trajectory. As the ice slab continues to slide forward, the snow breaks perpendicularly to the initial troughs, forming a grid-like pattern of cracks. To put it simply, as the ice spreads and thins, it fractures into a regular grid of crack-like formations. This process is relatively straightforward, and it might be beneficial for scientists to explain it in more accessible terms, such as explaining like I'm five. In summary, Antarctica can be likened to a colossal cocktail filled to the brim with ice cubes. It's essentially an accurate description of the ice formations found there. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. It's time for today's discussion. In the 1970s, satellites took pictures of the Earth and researchers became interested in a strange hole found in an ice pack in Antarctica. But when summer came, the hole disappeared and the mystery remained unsolved until recently. What happened during that time? For a long time, nobody had a clear answer. Then in 2018, during the cold winter months in Antarctica, a huge and unexplained hole suddenly appeared in the same ice pack. It grew by a surprising 740% over two months before disappearing, similar to what was seen before. After many years, scientists have finally discovered what caused these mysterious holes in the Arctic ice. Researchers from New York University Abu Dhabi and Uad found that strong storms leave marks on the Arctic Ocean that look like temporary holes called polinias. This happened when warm and cold air collided near the South Pole in September 2017. The powerful storm pushed the ice away, like a drill, exposing the water below. Basically, nature used the weather to create an opening in the ice and confuse the world. It's not surprising that humans can be confused by such complicated events. Let's know what you think about what we just showed you. Number 5. Ghostly Sounds Life in the Arctic would be devoid of supernatural phenomena, given the absence of human presence and limited opportunities for spectral activities. However, despite this logical perspective, 
scientists have potentially discovered evidence of intriguing phenomena in the region. Researchers have identified novel auditory signals originating from Antarctica, characterized by their uncanny nature, akin to fantastical imaginings. However, contrary to expectations, these sounds are not indicative of extraterrestrial life. Rather, a recent study has unveiled that these peculiar noises are a result of vibrating ice caused by the wind traversing snow dunes. Regrettably, the realm of excitement seems to dissipate upon this scientific explanation. A geophysicist and mathematician have described the auditory experience as akin to the constant melody of a flute resonating across the vast expanse of the ice shelf. Fortunately, this description injects a modicum of delight back into the subject matter. Another scientist likened the sounds to the collective chorus of thousands of cicadas. Although these sounds possess frequencies too low for human perception, they become audible when accelerated by monitoring equipment. Thus, it appears that the Antarctic does not harbor ghostly entities, at least any that have been identified thus far. However, this exploration has allowed us to appreciate the exquisite analogy of the perpetual flute serenade on the icy precipice. The Number 4. The Heat of Antarctica Clearly, Antarctica is widely recognized as one of the most frigid regions on our planet. However, recent findings indicate that its extreme cold may not be as significant as previously believed. Surprisingly, a new study suggests the presence of a substantial geothermal heat source beneath East Antarctica which scientists have yet to fully consider when assessing the impacts of climate change. Regrettably, this discovery poses significant challenges. Aircraft radar readings obtained during a survey over Antarctica reveal a disconcerting trend. The melting of ice in certain regions appears to originate from the bottom upwards. These observations were made nearly 470 miles inland from the coastline. Experts posit that radioactive rocks and the discharge of hot water from within the Earth's crust contribute to this additional thawing. An international team of scientists has concluded that this phenomenon could potentially lead to increased ice loss in the future. Although disheartening, one can appreciate the significance of this finding, provided one can move beyond the existential threat it poses. The presence of an extensive subglacial hot water reservoir beneath a vast expanse of ice and snow is undoubtedly a remarkable discovery. Number 3. Bloodfalls. Can anything be scarier than a massive, rippling sea of red liquid? Although there might be other things that are even more terrifying, let's put aside those thoughts for now and focus on this topic. Allow us to present a phenomenon that exemplifies this sinister quality a spectacle akin to the fantasies of a vampire if said vampire were to harbor a preference for a macabre twist of fate, substituting saline water for blood. Known as blood falls, this mesmerizing cascade entails a dramatic outflow of saline water tainted with red iron oxide descending from the tongue of the Taylor Glacier onto the icy expanse of a secluded Antarctic lake. In 1911, Australian geologist Griffith Taylor serendipitously stumbled upon this reddish substance, which was initially attributed to red algae by early Antarctic explorers. However, subsequent scientific investigations dispelled this notion, revealing that the water owed its crimson hue to iron oxide seeping from minuscule crevices. The resulting hypersaline water, boasting an exceptionally high iron concentration, surges forth onto the icy terrain. It is worth noting that any vampire with a predilection for such peculiar sustenance would be regarded as decidedly unconventional. Nevertheless, Bloodfall stands as a genuinely unique hydrological phenomenon, evoking profound surprise and wonder in those, like Taylor and his team, who chanced upon its unearthly appearance. Undoubtedly, their initial encounter with this surreal, blood-red aquatic spectacle was devoid of any sense of solace or tranquility. Number 2. Mummified Penguins To what extent would you be willing to investigate residual animal feces? Based on our assumption, it is highly unlikely that the majority of individuals viewing this video would be inclined to undertake such an endeavor. This lack of interest serves as an indicator that you may not possess expertise in the field of animal studies, as professionals in this domain find excrement particularly intriguing. Allow us to illustrate this point with an example. 
In 2016, ornithologist Stephen Hemsley, while conducting research on penguin colonies in Antarctica, received information suggesting the presence of guano, which refers to the excrement of birds or bats, on a rocky outcrop near the shoreline. The potential discovery of active colonies in this area piqued Hemsley's curiosity, prompting him to investigate further. Upon arrival at the site, he saw pebbles on the ground, dirty spots from bird feces on the ice, and a lot of dead penguins. These penguins were called Antelli penguins. They make nests with pebbles and raise their babies near the coast of Antarctica. Most of the dead penguins were young chicks that didn't live very long. Some of them still had flesh and feathers, but others were like mummies and almost fossils. Hemsley carefully dug up these remains and took them to his lab to find out how old they were. He was probably sad to find out that the samples of feces he collected were mixed up with these sad dead penguins. But it's important to know that sometimes weird feces can lead to interesting discoveries. Number 1. Jade Icebergs Green icebergs are a remarkably uncommon phenomenon, to the extent that some individuals doubted their existence for an extended period. Nevertheless, they exist, and encountering one is a remarkable experience. The distinctiveness of their green color is not a mere hint of green amidst an otherwise typical iceberg. Rather, it is a vibrant and conspicuous shade of green. For quite some time, there has been speculation regarding the origins and causes behind the green hue of these icebergs. The prevailing and widely debated theory suggests a straightforward explanation, marine ice. Marine ice refers to seawater that is frozen beneath an ice shelf as opposed to sea ice that forms on the surface of the sea. While this concept may initially seem complex, the term marine ice is employed to simplify its description. Historically, the green coloration was attributed to a high concentration of organic matter in the frozen seawater, a more technical term for photoplankton trapped within the ice. However, a team of scientists has recently emerged to substantiate what many of us believed all along. Green icebergs are, in fact, the result of frozen seawater, specifically seawater frozen to the underside of an ice shelf. This elucidates the process behind the formation of these jade-colored icebergs, which now appear considerably more straightforward in retrospect. Share your opinion on which of these discoveries you find to be the most amazing. Kindly leave your answers in the comments below.